throw down in the kitchen and an Olympic silver medalist. It's going to be amazing. Here to make her delicious sweet potato bean burgers, please welcome to our home, Dotsie Bausch. Welcome, Dotsie. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is very exciting. Uh, listen, yeah. it's not every day I get to hang out in the kitchen with an Olympian. We know wow. you as an Olympic cyclist. You're an amazing silver medal winner, by the way, wow. everybody. Mm. But now you are super passionate. There you are right wow. there. Look at that. Wow. That's you awesome. know what you do. We want to eat like you, which is yes. why you're in our kitchen right now. Wow. But now you're really passionate about spreading the word about how nutritious and how fulfilling plant-based recipes can be. And these burgers are no exception. That's for by the oohs and ahs wow. of the cow. Oh, 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 right? Everybody's <laughs> loving it. Delicious. Debbie, wow. Ken, Shirley, our wow. epic counter, and they're loving it. Wow. What is it about these burgers that are so special? Tell us. Yeah, well, first of all, they're delicious. Oh, they really are. As you can see. Yeah. I mean, you remember the old school veggie burgers that fell apart all over yeah. the place? Sure. Yeah, so there's an ingredient, a special ingredient, um, that acts like an egg. It acts like a coagulator that's okay. going to keep them together that I'm going to teach you. But not crazy an egg cool. because these are vegan. Absolutely, but not an egg. Okay. But they're filled. There's 15 grams of protein mm. in these burgers. There's tons of fiber, right, which helps us feel full and is good. good for our microbiome. Yeah. And then there's vitamins B6. There's iron, which gives us energy. So they're just all around. Amazing Listen, if us. they work for you, they're going to work for yes. us. That is for sure. Okay, one of my favorite things in the world, sweet potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, that's where we're going to start. You've roasted some sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. You've mashed them up. We've got them here in a bowl. Now, I usually boil my sweet potatoes. So, what, what are some of the benefits of, of roasting instead of boiling them? That's really old school boiling, I think. It's, I'm just like an old man. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, the nutrients just get sucked right out of the water. Okay, great. So you and they also get the a little. Water when you... And they'll probably be a little too watery like this, too, right? Yeah, for sure. For okay, sure. Good. So, I roast them 375 for 45 minutes or so, like medium sized sweet potatoes. They'll be done. They need to be really done though you know like soft in the middle yeah. so make sure that you do it long enough so okay well, we got those and now we're going to work on our garbanzo beans or uh yes. chickpeas now we yes. mash them up and we add some stuff to it what do we got yes so we're going to just mash these up you're going to okay. leave a couple of them kind of like fully you know fully still formed um but we're going to mash these up i don't know if this is just like right out of a can kind of thing. totally rinse okay mm. right you can do yeah you can Great. make them from scratch and not very want. many i mean this for this recipe anyway i guess you can double it or triple it oh absolutely yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So if you have trouble with legumes, there's not actually a whole lot in here, which is great mm -hmm. for me because I, you know, legumes mm -hmm. typically are a little bit tricky for me. But now yeah. the secret ingredient that, that you alluded to. So what do we have here and here? And we're going to okay. let it kind of come together. So this is just flaxseed meal and water. How about that? And if you take two tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of flaxseed meal, and put it together, it literally acts like an egg in any recipe. Oh, you can do it in baking. Really? How about that? So tons of fiber, yeah. essential fatty acids, no cholesterol, no hormones. I mean, it's just like amazing. Is that about the right consistency? Yeah, no, so we're gonna let it sit. Okay. Just let it sit for like two or three minutes. And okay. Just kinda right. let it do its thing. So we may hit it a little bit earlier than you normally would at home for the purposes of television, but now we're gonna, in the right. meantime, we're gonna add some more to the uh, chickpeas here. What else yeah. do we have? Okay, so we're gonna do the sweet potatoes. Sweet potato? Okay, yeah. do I, you do I, do it? sure. Go for it. Yeah. Just mix it up is the you idea, right? Chef. Or yeah. do I use my hands? Do I'm using a spoon at well, home? I use my hands. You'd use your hands. Okay. Yeah, for well, sure. The yeah, just get in there. Veggie burger is so wonderful. Yeah. You know, a lot of times a veggie burger is. Very dense. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And you're, I you do. feel like it's light. heavy and like, oh gosh, what did yeah. I just eat? This does not feel like that right. at all. Yeah, it's no, so it's delicious. delicious. And it's like it's got real. We're gonna. It's an interesting ingredients. I think is why you're having that great flavor. Pow. I figure we're messing our hands up so, anyway when we make yeah, the patties, so we going. might as well just do this. So that's right? a little bit of salt. Okay, good. Right? This is chili powder. Great. This is a secret ingredient: cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. I would yeah, never right? thought of that. Yeah. Kind of, that you get that? Do you get the yeah. cinnamon yeah. there, guys? Tiny. A tiny bit? Yeah, good. It brightens it. Garlic powder. Okay. Onions, always. I put onions in everything. So if go. you don't like onions, though, you don't have to put them in. It's right. delicious without them. Right. Oats, a little bit more fiber. How about so you know that? what you could do is, for you, maybe a quarter of the amount of garbanzo beans and more oats. And more oats. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. And some breadcrumbs. You can use any kind you want, right? You could use whole wheat or you can use white, whatever you like. So then now, all the protein is coming from the garbanzo beans and all that protein. Yeah. Oh, and the sweet potato. Yeah. And the sweet potato. Yes. Okay. All okay. plants have protein. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of people don't realize that. I, realize I learned that. that from your movie, which we'll be talking about in a mm -hmm. second, is that all plants do uh, have some protein in them, right? They do. Everything that's alive yeah. has protein. And I think you know, everyone thinks that you can only get protein from, from animals, right. Right? right? Like, I mean, we've no. just been conditioned to think sure. that. But the truth is, all protein originates in, in plants. Yeah. The three main animals that we eat, you know, turkey, chicken, right. all the building you know, blocks. cows, that's where they get their protein. Right. right. Exactly. They're all yeah. vegetarian. Yeah. Can I put this so guy in? Just think about that. Yeah, so you're, yeah, it's almost ready. We'll pretend. So you know what, while we'll you pretend. put that out and you, and you guys start uh, making the patties, we yeah. might as well talk about the Game Changers, which was 
seriously a groundbreaking documentary that has just come out that everybody's talking about. It was produced by Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan and, and James Cameron and so many other A-list people. Tell us about this. It, it's fascinating. Well, it's just what you and I were talking about, right? So really, it, it's theme. It deals with um, what we believe to be the world's most dangerous myth, which is that you need animals in your body to be healthy and to thrive. So it, it takes you on a journey of some of the world's best athletes, strength athletes, bodybuilders, endurance athletes, speed athletes like myself, and their journeys of um, being on plant-based diets and winning Olympic medals, winning competitions. Mm, um, one of the guys in there is the strongest man in Germany. You know, he's huge yeah. and all he eats is plants. And then it's mixed in with uh, quite a bit of science. So people kind of get a mixture of the facts and also the emotional journey. Yeah. Right. So you were really plant-based You were plant -based as an Olympian? Yes, so I grew up in the South. So for 35 years of my life, I ate meat and dairy. And I made a switch over to a plant-based diet about two years out from Olympic Games. I went to 2012 Olympic Games wow. and made the switch. And it was extraordinary what mm. happened to my body. Is In fact, I am the oldest in history to stand on the Olympic podium in my What? Wow. Oh, really? I'm here at 39 and a half. That's no, incredible. That's right. So, and, but I mean, I'm saying that because we know that repair and recovery is really important for athletes. Right. And as you get older, all of us know athlete yeah. or non-athlete alike, recovery is harder and sure. harder and harder. And that was the ticket, was having that plant-based diet help me to repair faster wow. and you know, be able to keep up with the whippersnapper. Want to get back to the recipe here? Yes, So what we did is I made the patties, and then tell me what I did. I put them in the more breadcrumbs, right? Give yeah. them a little crunch? Just to give them the crispy. Sure. When you put them on the griddle, yeah. um, you know, it's nice for them to have the crisp. And now you're going to put them on a toasted bun. Yeah. How long do you um, cook them on the griddle? Until you see them brown a little bit, like five or six minutes aside, I'd say. And you yeah, don't need to use the extra breadcrumbs, right, you were saying? Right. You, no, you don't. You don't. If you don't want to wrap them in the breadcrumbs, you don't have to. I just like the crunch. I'm having fun um, here in the kitchen. Let's start building it. Let's start building And you know a fun, like a little hack with these? You could also make them tiny, and they're like really good appetizers. Oh, yeah. For like a party. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, just. There we go. So, avocado. Tomato, Help lettuce, that one's more for onions. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Maybe a little Cameron, mustard. You're gonna love this. Yeah. It's really oh yeah, we forgot to yeah talk about this is maple Dijon, so it's just Dijon mustard and maple syrup. Mm. As if it? you didn't like it already, Cameron. Yeah. Maple syrup. Maple it's syrup. It's so good on there. That's for the sweet. Yeah. I mean, that's very, yeah, that's very delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness, yeah. Dotsie, while you right. build yours, I'm going to let everybody know that you can find this recipe on HallmarkChannel.com. And for more of Dotsie's great work, visit switchforgood.org.